On August 24th, 1977, Bryn Rainey's body was found, murdered, and buried in a makeshift shallow grave. Welcome to the Eldorado County District Attorney's Office Cold Case Homicide Episodes, where each month we'll be featuring one of our over 60 cold case homicides and asking you, the viewer, to help us solve a cold case homicide. Last month we featured the South Lake Tahoe double murder of Marilyn Putt and Julie Shoshow, whose bodies were found in the South Fork of the American River. Thanks to information received from you, our viewers, cold case homicide detectives continue to investigate and work towards closure for these families. This month's cold case homicide involves the disappearance and murder of Bryn Rainey, a South Lake Tahoe resident. Bryn was born June 24, 1950, and in 1967 she graduated from Firelands High School in Ohio. Like so many of us, this is most likely what Bryn Rainey saw in March of 1977 when she passed over the summit on Highway 50 and dropped down into the Tahoe Basin. Bryn had been traveling with her brother Bob Rainey and her sister-in-law Cindy Rainey to attend a wedding in South Lake Tahoe. As so many people do, Bryn fell in love with Lake Tahoe area and decided to make it her home. Bryn initially worked as a maid at the Crystal Range Motel and briefly lived at the Mountaineer Motel. A short time later, Bryn got a job working as a Kino girl at the Sahara Casino where she worked the graveyard shift, which started at 2 a.m. In April of 1977, Bryn lived right here in what was then known as the Cookbook Apartments. Bryn enjoyed hiking, bicycle riding, and sewing. Bryn, like the other residents here, would often shop at the 7-Eleven right here on Emerald Bay Road. Bryn would usually take the city bus to work, or what was common practice in a small town in the 70s, she would hitchhike. On the night of July 24, 1977, at around 10 p.m., Bryn was at the bus stop waiting for her bus. A few of her girlfriends recognized her waiting at the bus stop and picked her up in their car. Bryn had them drop her off at the Bitter Creek Saloon as it was too early for her to go into work. Bryn was known to frequent the saloon, and the bartender had remembered seeing her that night. However, there are no other details about when she left or if she left with anyone else. This area right here where I'm standing was known as the State Line Stables. This barn and these outbuildings are all that's left of this popular horse riding area. In August of 1977, an area not far from where I'm standing, Bryn Rainey's lifeless body was located on a lonely trail. If you have any information, and I emphasize any information, please contact us. And remember, the friends and family never forget, and neither should we.